How you doing? My name is John Sikoris, and this is Sri Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. your boy what are you guys doing huh all right good to be back another week of more bullshit all right guys i gotta tell you something i'm a little fucking i feel a little fucked up right now i don't feel feel out of sorts let me give you a little story really fast okay when I was younger, I had a friend. I'm not going to say his name because some of you who know me, you all know who he is. But uh, my friend, in his closet, he had a little hole in a wall, all right? And in that hole, he used to go into the closet and he would look in that hole. And in the room, on the other side, was his sister's room. And he used to watch his sister walk around in her underwear, True story. He used to watch his sister walk around in his underwear. He'd watch her lay on the bed and talk on the phone to his her boyfriend, and he used to jerk off. Okay, so Susan, um, what's it like to be in human resources? Uh, I'm done. To his fucking sister! Bro. I feel, I feel violated. Okay, I feel like he does. Why? Because I'm the biggest fucking Yankee fan out there, alright? I bleed pinstripes. I bleed fucking pinstripes. You Yankee fans, you all know how we are, okay? The greatest, the second best thing to a Yankee win is a Boston loss, alright? Okay, so now, the Boston Red Sox played the Los Angeles Dodgers in a, in a World Series. And I fuck it, that's a hard choice, bro. Because if there's one other, the only other team I hate worse than the fucking Red Sox is the Dodgers. So I had to make a choice, bro. I had to fucking, I had to make a choice. I had to root for a team. Now, I know some of you may not get what this, you may not give a shit, but I'm fucking telling you this is part of the story anyway. Being the fact, I think I told you in my last, uh, you know, video, I told you my son is a big Red Sox fan. So I had to actually sit for his sake because I love my son so much, all right? And my son's a Red Sox fanatic. He loves the Red Sox as much as I love the Yankees, okay? So I had to sit and root for guys who I fucking hate, like David Price, people like that, watching Mookie Betts and all those guys. I respect all those guys as ballplayers, but as a Yankee fan, I fucking hate them. I fucking hate them because they're good. All right, it's just like Yankee fan, you know, like you Red Sox fans, you hated fucking Alex Rodriguez, but dude, you can say what you want. Alex Rodriguez was MVP a couple times. All right, the bottom line is, I'm over here fucking like rooting, and I feel dirty. I feel like my friend when he was looking through the fucking people, watching his own sister and masturbating. Watching, oh, look at my sister's ass, oh, that's the way I felt, I felt dirty, I felt violated, I felt fucked up, rooting for the goddamn fucking Red Sox, because my fucking kid has to be a goddamn Red Sox fan, anyway, World Series is over, they won, fuck them, watch my Yankees next year kick your fucking Red Sox asses, it's because of me rooting for you, you fuckers won. I accept any thank yous from you Red Sox fans. Alright. Believe it or not, it's the truth. I ruined for the fucking Red Sox. I, it fucking killed me. You don't know. I felt I felt as dirty as my friend looking through that fucking window, jerking off to his sister, fucking Nick on the phone with a boyfriend. Hi, yeah, what's up? You know, her fucking foot up on the bed in her underwear. And he used to tell me, oh my God, I know it's sick, bro. I know it's sick. But she, she does have nice legs. And you know, she got that little ass. And I'm like, bro, it's your fucking sister. It's your fucking sister, bro. Come on. The Red Sox, I had a 
Dude, I had a roof for the Red Sox. Never in my life did I. I couldn't fucking believe it. I was like, Mookie Betts is up. I'm like, oh, I hope he gets a hit. Oh, I can't believe I said that. Anyway, enough of that bullshit. Let's get into something a little bit more fucking fun. Okay. I'm using a clipboard this time, okay, with my notes on it. All right. Joe Pietaro sent me a question that one of you guys sent him. All right. This question is from, now, this is, Jay, dude, I can't, I, get, I can't read this shit at all. Jay Sack, pick a but whatever the fuck, I can't, I can't fucking read it. Some sort of goddamn, it, 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 dude. It, it, it's some sort of fucking, I don't know, fucking Polish, Czechoslovakia, I don't know what the hell that name is, Pekinakowicz or whatever. Anyway, JSEC, JSEC wants to know, wants me to talk about how guys like Simon Panda, you use Simon Panda's name, how does Simon Panda stay lean all year long? How does he never get fat, never get out of shape, never, you know, keep his structure, how does he do it? All right, JSEC, I'm going to be fucking totally bummed with you. He's got black genetics. I said it, okay? It's not a racist statement. As a matter of fact, any black guys watch this, would be like, yeah, that's right, motherfucker. Black genetics, you white motherfuckers ain't got what we got. And he's right, okay? Black genetics. It's black genetics. I'm sorry, bro. If to, I, I'm telling you, I've said this, I've told stories like this before. I had a black kid that I was friends with, okay? His name is Zal. He came to my gym. I own a gym. I own three gyms in my day. But he came to my first gym. Never lifted a weight in his life. Had natural built. That little waist, little little abs, turned around for the back, had all the little muscles and shit. Tiny little V, but was a V. Little shoulders, little delts, little pecs, everything. He had it all, okay? But he was small. He trained for three months. He only took steroids, by the way. For three months. At the end of the three months, he went in a show and won the overall. Never competed again after that. Stopped lifting weights. Trained for three months and won an overall. You know why? Because he had black genetics. And I don't mean that fucked up again. That's a prop. That's a prop. Let's let's be realistic, okay? Guys like Flex Wheeler and, and, and bodybuilders, like, they're so... Ge Lee Haney, so genetically... Ronnie Coleman, so genetically gifted. So genetically gifted. Okay, that they could fucking blow a fart like this, and they, oh shit, I blow a fart, they put an inch on my arms. It doesn't matter. They're so genetically gifted, okay? It's in their genes. They don't get fat either, okay? This guy, Al Smith, he was eating pizza, all right? He was eating fucking pizza. He was eating pizza, and he still, he didn't know what he was doing going for a show. He didn't have to fucking diet. He was naturally ripped. He was... Listen to me. I live in New York City, okay? I see fucking guys laying on a subway, on a fucking subway platform on a street in the summertime. Black dudes with no shirts on. They're homeless. And they're standing there. And they got these tiny fucking 24-inch waists. Little pecs, little abs, little, every little body part, perfectly honed, perfectly sketched. And I say to myself, holy shit, look at this guy. He's on fucking crack. Okay? And look at that fucking build on him. He doesn't have an ounce of body fat. You just put him on a little bit of food and some fucking weights, throw a little babanya in there. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it, bro. Okay? I'm sorry. It's just like in sports. Dude, you imagine black dudes playing fucking, like, hockey and shit? Can you imagine that shit? Now, I know that there's, like, yeah, there is a few black hockey players out there. Yeah, they're fucking Canadian, bro. Okay, and they got, they got a lot of white blood. I'm talking about fucking black dudes from, like, the ghetto and shit. Playing. Dude, they'd be over there fucking skating. They'd fucking jump over you, fucking shoot behind the head with the puck. Just pop it up, slap it like a fucking... Like that. And shoot goals behind them and stuff. That shit would be like a lacrosse ball fucking shooting. Forget about it. Okay? Football. Running. You don't see white dudes run, you know what I mean? Black dudes like, you, like a deer and shit. It's genetic. It's not racist. It's a genetic fact that blacks are better athletes than whites. I'm sorry of some of you white dudes like, no, 
No, that's not true. Sorry, dude. It's true. Okay? Sports will tell you. Sports. Watch Olympic sports. When it comes to stuff like running and everything else, and even their physiques. How many boxers you see, these black dudes, that are, they don't even lift weight. Every little abs, every, every body part's home. It's just, it's just, it's just, that's the way it is, man. That's the way it is. The greatest bodybuilders in bodybuilding history aren't white. Sorry, they're black, okay? Nobody is better than, in my opinion, than Lee Haney, Ronnie Coleman, Sergio Oliva. Those guys, they're genetic to treat them. Their genetics are sick. It's sick, sick, sick. Sick. Lee Haney could suck his stomach in and do a fucking vacuum. Okay? And his muscles pop, 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 pop. He'd come up and everything would pop and it would explode. Okay? Dude, he was born for that shit. Flex Wheeler was born for this shit. Born for it. You ain't gonna find genetics better than that. You ain't gonna find... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Simon Panda... To answer your question, Simon Panda has never been fat in his life. He's never had a little bit of fat. Not even a little bit of fat. Simon Panda's never, ever, ever been fat. So all, when you see Simon Panda and you see him lifting, and you can say, he's, he'll, he can sit there and say, man, I'm eating fucking pizza. I'm eating ice cream. and Shit, man. Look, look at my build. You know? It's because he's never been fat fat. He's never had body fat on him. So you can't look to a guy like that to tell you how to get ripped. Okay? Because he's never had to try to get ripped. He's so genetically elite that the minute he cuts his food even slightly, he gets shredded hard. Okay? Shredded hard. Simon Panda has never had it so that he cannot see his abs. So when you're asking me what does he do, how does he stay lean, it's fucking in his genes. Okay? He's never not seen his abs. Okay? It's just a fact. Dave Palumbo has never not seen his abs. He was a ripped, ring, fucking shredded kid. He will tell you that. Now, his genetic structure is not like a black guy, okay? But, as far as lean goes, when somebody's lean naturally, they, they can eat with everyone. Come on, you guys. Come on, guys. You guys have friends. And, uh, listen, haven't you ever had a friend that can sit and eat fucking pizza and fucking eat shit all day? And you say, look at this motherfucker. You never get fat. How come you never get fat? It's genetics, bro. That's all it is. It's, it's, it's not, there's no method behind it. It's not that Simon Panda eats a special food. It's genetics. I don't even know Simon Panda. But it, the other thing is, okay, look at, what's his name there? The fucking uh, Juan Morel. Oh, Juan Morel can eat 25,000 calories and not get fat. That's his fucking genetics. He has to eat fucking 25,000 calories. Okay, because if Juan Mor or Morel ate what you ate, two, three thousand calories, even for diet, even for contest weight, he'd lose all the size. He gets fucking small. Okay, he doesn't get fat. You don't fucking understand that. He's got that fucking genetic. You know what I'm talking about? The white men don't have the genetic that the minorities have. I'm telling you, even Spanish people, there's black blood in there. I'm telling you, you mix black and white, forget about it. Then you get the best of everything. I'm just telling you. It's genetic. Sorry, dude. I know it sounds like a fucking racist rant, but, you know, look at football players. You know, the guys running and shit like that. And it's just the basketball players. Everything. It's just they're genetically elite. They're better in, in athletics and sports. And their builds show it. Sorry. Okay? So, there you go. That's how Simon Panda stays lean. He was born like that. You ask me a question, I answer, sorry. We don't do political correctness here. Sorry. Sorry. We don't do political correctness here. This is muscle sport mag, bro. Okay? That's what you're watching.
Here's another fucking genius question. Greg, this is Mike from Sayerville, New Jersey. Mike wants to know, Greg, what's your opinion on the guys who take synthol from Brazil? What's your opinion? I know that you've been accused of synthol. I believe you, that you never took it. Okay. Oh, boy. Hold on a second. Ah! I can't take it. <clears throat> Listen, Mike from Sayerville. Thank you for believing me. There's a lot of people out there that don't believe me. I don't give two fucking shits. All right? I took a fucking bottle of test every other fucking day. 2,000 2, milligrams. I took it locally. Everybody knows that. I've said it a thousand times. 6,000 milligrams. Day. And I've probably done even more than that because if that's not counting the fucking equipoise, a big jug, 50 cc's I took, and as well as uh, Sostenon, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Plus, it was only one arm. And that was a hematoma. So everybody, whenever they show that synthol shit of me, they show my giant arm, which is full of blood. One arm, look like a fucking basketball, like a balloon. I drained it of blood. Not oil, not pus. Okay? And this was a long time ago. This was like 2000. So, please, Bafango, you fucking guys. Anyway, all right. Here's the deal. What do I think about the Sintol guys from Brazil? First of all, I don't believe that most of those guys are on Sintol. All right? Simmer down. Let me, let me finish what I'm fucking saying before you tell me I'm fucking crazy. No. I think a lot of them take, uh, what's that shit? Silicone. Okay? Almost like PMMA, uh, you know, which Rich Piana said he experimented with to fill a hole in his bicep. Well, a torn muscle. You know, that PMMA is like little spheres, just tiny little, like, you know, not microscopic, but like maybe the head of a pin that balls of silicone. Well, it's something like that. And that's what the trannies use down in Brazil. That's why they, those Brazilian asses, and you see they all come out, and they almost don't look fucking real. You know, the shelf from behind, the fuck comes out like this, is not real. All right, so when you see those trannies with those big asses, I think that's what they have in their arms. First of all, they don't have marks all over them, all right? You would see, like, fucking injection marks. Maybe some of them do, okay? But, like, when I see that guy with the big fucking tits. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm, uh. And those are nice tits, by the way. But when he has those big tits and the fucking, you know, like the skinny little fucking forearms and shit like that, and the fucking big tits, you never see marks on there. That's because he did, I believe he used, you know, silicone. Like that's what I believe he used, all right? I don't think. They never shrink. They always stay the same. And, you know, it's just big balls of fucking big pockets of silicone. That's what they use down there. I don't think that they use synthol, all right? You, you would see all kinds of fucking, like, marks and, you know, like, fucking bad fucking bruising and shit, you know? And you don't see that. So I don't believe it's simple. Look, I could be wrong. The second part to this is, who gives a fuck? What do you care? What do you give a fuck? You get these dudes that put earrings. They're like these big fucking... I thought maybe we'd have some... They're like these big balls like they in the ears. And then when they pop them out, their fucking ear will look like a worm hanging there. Okay? I don't give a shit. If you're one of those fucking guys that do that, I don't give a fuck. Who with fucking the BBs and the fucking, you know, and the shit that's fucking too here, and the tongue and all that shit. Who cares? The guys who tattoo their fucking face, the guys that have fucking horns and shit put up there. I don't give a fuck if that's what you want to look like. So what do you care what they look like? Right? Some chick who puts two basketballs in his implants like this, walking down the street, you know, that's okay to you guys because she's hot, right? You like the wall, oh, look at those big titties on her, right? That's okay, but because some guy, what do you give two shits? I see me, it's like gay dudes, like, oh my god, there's two fucking queers, you know, they're getting married, two gay guys, that's so fucking wrong, it's against God. Oh, so you know what God likes, right? God don't make mistakes, well then he fucked up with that! Anyway, listen to me, I don't give a shit what anybody does, as long as it doesn't affect me, I don't care. If some guy wants to walk around looking like that, with two fucking big titties, you know, that fucking, he almost looks Indian to me, that guy. But he got the two big fucking titties and shit. You know, and all that shit. Anyway. 
You think that he, you think I give two fucking shits what he looks like? Do you think I care if he lived at those, he's got like tits. You think I care? Or the guys that have like, like fucking like, these fucking like, big fucking balls up here for traps and shit. Do you think I give two shits to what they look like? Why should you give two shits? What do you care? If your next door neighbor's gay, what do you care? Who cares? If he wants to dress up like a girl, who gives a fuck? If he wants to fucking marry a fucking dog, I don't give a shit. What do you give a shit? That's him, it's not me. Does that fucking affect you? No. When it affects me, then... So, the bottom line is, what do you give a shit about what those synthol guys... My opinion is, you want my fucking opinion? I don't give a shit. Let them do it. If that's what makes them happy, who the fuck cares? Do you know how many fucking people look at you, bodybuilders? They'll look at fucking Big Rammy and go, That's fucking disgusting. Big Rammy's fucking disgusting. Do you know how many people think that? Do you know how many people would look at most pro bodybuilders? Would be totally... Ew. Kai Green. Ew. Looks like the California Raisin and shit. Get out of here. Not to me, he doesn't. But that's what one of my friends said to me. They saw Kai Green and on at the bodybuilding. They're like, dude, that dude looks like the California Raisin. You know what I mean? That's wrong. I love Kai and I respect him very much. I'm sorry. But I'm just saying, that's what people think. That's what people think. You know what's funny? We were just talk I just talked about Simon Panda. For all I know, it could have been him. But when I was really huge, back in like 1998, 99, I was walking on a fucking Jersey Shore boardwalk to Seaside Heights. And I was fucking jacked, bro. I was 275 pounds. I'm five foot six, 275 pounds, and I wasn't fat. So I'm walking like this, you know, and people fucking looking at me, taking pictures and shit, right? And some black dude who, it might have been Simon Panda, I don't know. I don't know where he lives, but it was somebody who probably must live in, in that type of area, in the New York, New Jersey area. It's a really good, he was, this kid was Diesel. It was He looked like Simon Panda. He has small fucking tiny waist like this. And he, you know, and he, but he wasn't big. He wasn't nearly as big as me. He was one third of my size. But when he walked by, I heard somebody go, yo. That dude looks better than that dude. I'd rather look like him. They said that. They said they they actually said I'd rather look like him. Pointing to the to the black dude walking, you know, like the Simon Panda looking dude. Okay, that's what they said. Meanwhile, he was half my size. I look like fuck. You, you, let me tell you something. If you put one of those classic physique or even physique guys, and you put one of them on a on a boardwalk walk with no shirt on, and then you put the bodybuilder to the bodybuilder. To the, you know, to the bodybuilder comes walking, more pe there are people impressed as in a freak kind of way. But if you ask most guys, I don't want to look like that. I'd rather look like that. Like the physique guy. Like the, you know, classic physique or something like that. That's what they'd rather look like. They'd rather look like a Simon Panda. Who would rather look like Big Ramy? You know, you fuckos. You, you roll, uh, you know, you, ah, go bigger, go home. I'd rather die like a fucking lion than live like a lamb. <laughs> you full of shit. You're full of shit till you're in a hospital bed fucking dying because your kidneys and fucking your, your liver are failing. Your, your family's there. Your mother's crying and shit. And you're going, holy fuck, I'm sorry, God. I didn't mean that. I, I'll, I'll, I'll be a lamb. Okay? Because you're all going to have to go off. But regardless, uh, the bottom line of what the fuck are trying to say is that, you know, it, it, that fucking who cares what anybody looks like. All right? How the fuck did I go from the synthol guy's to this fucking me looking Jack the Simon Panda looking motherfucker on a boardwalk. I don't know. Okay, but that's what I do. I ramble. All right? But anyway, nobody should care what anybody else looks like. If that's what you want to look like, that's what you want to look like. Trust me, there's a lot of... That, oh, that's how I got on here. Because a lot of people look at a big Rammy or some of you big fucking bodybuilders, you know, and they go, that's disgusting. Now that's fucking gross. That's too much. Most people feel that way, you know. We're fucking freaks, so we don't feel that way. Okay? It's like the big titty bitch. That does nothing for me, bro. I don't like that, but I know guys who be like, oh my God. <laughs> you know? Not me. I'm ass and legs. But anyway, alright. Enough of that shit. Okay? I still feel dirty. They're fucking rooting for the Red Sox. Like, oh, the fuck? You just a fucking... You fucking Yankees, you did that to me. You fuck it. If any of you Yankees watch this, you fuckers did that to me. Because my Yankees weren't... I, I, I didn't have to root. I wanted to root it for my son is what I really rooted for. I'm violated. I feel, I feel sticky and dirty. All right, listen to me, guys. 
I'm going to end this week. Uh, I got to tell you something. You guys still, I, I, I'm amazed that this is, it's still, some of you guys are still ragging on me for the fucking Titan medical shit here. You still ragging on me. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I got one guy who's saying, if you're watching this, the guy from Canada who's saying, oh, but you're pumping this up, but it's not so easy for people to get, you know. I'm up here in Canada. That's, that's not my fucking fault. You know what I mean? What do you want me to tell you? What the fuck? I got nothing to do with it. I don't do the shipping for fucking uh, uh, Titan Medical. I don't care. I got nothing to do, do. Listen to me. All I know is a lot of pros go to Titan Medical. Girls and guys. They all go there. Okay? And then this shit's legit and they got doctors. That's all I know. Okay? So if you're going to do shit, you do shit right. Save your fucking ass. Go to Titan Medical. All right? But to sit here and fucking tell me, like, you know, I'm only pumping them. Dude, I'm not getting, there's no promo codes again. There's no fucking, I don't get any money for you fucking buying this shit. All right? Simply commercial sponsor the show. All right? Fucking McDonald's sponsors the, you know, if they fucking sponsor the Yankees or Burger King or something like that, doesn't, doesn't mean every Yankee gets a fucking kickback or fucking, you know, promo code, you know, yank me, and you get a fucking discount, get free fries or something. It doesn't work like that, okay? I'm just telling you. But some guys are attacking me, telling me, well, I live in Canada, and yeah, it's not so easy to get here, and you're acting like it. I'm not acting like nothing, motherfucker. I'm just giving you a fucking, telling you, stop fucking buying shit off these bogus, ind you know, that sell you a list of shit, and get it fucking where it's legit, and fucking safe, and you got a doctor's script, and you could tell everybody who has a problem with it, hey, you see this? Doctor's script. Buff fungal to you. Alright. Enough of that shit. So, Good shit's coming with Joe, uh, Joe Pitaro and I. We're going to be doing some more shit uh, with Muscle Sport Mag. If you like the videos, you know the deal, baby. Subscribe. Hit the fucking bell. Another guy doesn't like the fact that I talk about deadbeat dads and shit on here. And I say, be good to your wife. Be good to your significant other. Whatever your spin is. Okay? I don't care if you're fucking gay. Whatever your deal is. Be good to your fucking mate. If somebody doesn't like when I say, if you're, if you're a deadbeat dad. You better pay your fucking child support because those are your fucking kids. Dude, the only reason why you don't like this is because you're a fucking fucko. Because you probably don't fucking do the right thing. You probably have kids and you're probably like, I'm not giving that bitch my money. I haven't seen my kids. So that's your fucking fault, bro. Go fight her. I can't fight her. She won't. Don't give me that bullshit. I fought. I fucking fought. So don't give me none of that fucking shit. I fucking crawled on glass. On my fucking knees, broken glass for miles just to get my kids. And I got them, bro. I got them, okay? I raised my kids. I'm their fucking hero. Didn't matter. So don't you fucking go give me no bullshit. If you got a problem with me saying that, that means because you are fucking no good. That's what that means. You're a no good cocksucker. Go fucking do the right thing by your kids. Earn my respect then. And if you don't want it, then don't watch my shit. I don't need you to watch this shit. I get paid whether you watch it or don't watch it. Shit. Motherfucker. Fucko. To the rest of you momos, I love you guys. You know I love you guys. We're all fucking momos. You get a few fuckos here there. A few of them. They like to fuck it up for the others, you know? A few of you fuckos. The rest of you guys are momos. We're all fucking momos, and I love you. So, alright, enough, enough fucking ranting. I'll see you guys next week, okay? I gotta go take a shower. Keep thinking about that Red Sox. I gotta, I gotta go shower. I'm a Yankee fan. Never forget it. I gotta keep reminding myself. Congratulations to my son. I love my son very much. Military intelligence, Army intelligence, special ops intelligence with the government. Somebody in my family's gotta have intelligence. All right, click on a little bell. Fucking get your notifications. Subscribe. Stop fucking around. See you next week.
At Titan Medical Center, we are here to make you feel better, look better, and perform better. We're here to get you to your optimal levels in the most natural way possible. We are a boutique style clinic without the boutique style costs. All medications are monitored and prescribed by a physician. Let us help you get the results you've been wanting. Come to Titan Medical Center for the most cutting edge therapies and the most current information on how to take the most natural approach to your health.